Welcome again to another episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. Okay, today I'm gonna share with you the reason why Hobby Hut is like one of the prime pet shops in Jamaica. They are a little bit pricey, they are located in um uptown area uh, half a tree and they have something for you. I'm not promoting them, this is not being paid for by them, right? But in comparison to the other pet shops, I think you have some reasons to actually visit Hobby Hut. And this is one of the reasons why Hobby Hut has been doing so good for the past 10 to 15 years as a pet shop. Right? It's more than 10 to 15, about 20 odd years as a pet shop. Stay tuned. Uh, pet shop the hobby hot pet shop so I have shared it to you on several occasion um, you know going to the hobby hot um, pet shop in half a tree speaking with the supervisor um, there I'm um, going through several different dimensions and checking out uh, the birds and the fees and what actually they have actually um, placed a sale for customers to actually score it through and actually pay for right a lot of actually there wow okay so uh this video is about really why is it that this pet shop although expensive uh why is it that this pet shop is still doing exemplary as far as you know the sale of aquarium fish freshwater fish no based on you know visits to other pet shops such as next to nature um in by ligony and um other pet shops such as uh, uh the one that super plants and pets and the one uh in pembrokeal uh hobby hut have actually extended itself in actually getting a uh, fish that is considered to be um, exotic expensive and to a great extent it's like it's not really available in Jamaica they are like special imports now as a result of this what you find is that although the fish is kind of ex expensive um, you know it's really expensive guys when compared to other pet shops out there um, the fish is actually unique and um, you know it's not like you can actually okay all right i am not going to be purchasing here i'm going to be purchasing over there and everything works out for you for example these discuss energy i've actually been looking at for the first section of the video uh, one of these discuss is valued by hobby hut at forty thousand dollars right and probably where you are at um, in the world uh, it's not that expensive but as as far as Jamaica is concerned, forty thousand dollars is like some person's um weekly wage, uh, a manafa monthly wage, uh, is really expensive. Uh, for the great you know aquarium lovers, um, persons who are you know keen in keeping fish aquariums and all that, um, hobby hot would be the place to go in Kingston, Jamaica, to get exotics uh regardless of how expensive uh the fish tends to be eventually they will get sold now i shared with you in a video before that i got that, that i actually got a, a red devil right i got a red devil from from this store because somebody actually purchased it but not knowing much about the red devil just looking at it and and it's not cheap guys um they purchased it i mean they carried it home um, he practically killed everything in his aquarium and the person actually took it back, right? And I explained all of that, right? Um, here are, you have some silver dollars, right? The silver dollars are, you know, what do you call it? Nothing, nothing numbers, right? They're looking really cool, right? Uh, the thing about Hobby Hut is that uh, the fish looks cool in multiple aquariums and they seem to be doing well, right? But 
all the aquariums that are on display except for a few that might be um, outside of the, the general aquatic space are practically the same size. Now, if the discus were supposed to actually stay at this location until, let's say, they do grow out and to become large discus, uh, or better yet, they have actually imported larger discus, right? Yes, it would be probably $80,000 or $90,000, but Hobby Hood would not have the space to actually keep them. Now, silver dollar grows large, guys. Silver dollar, whilst it might not grow as large, and it's expensive too, right? Whilst it might not grow as large as Oscar, I would say it grow um, probably near the size of um, a Severum, but probably not as um, huge as an Oscar. Um, some persons might agree or some persons might disagree, right? But what you have, right, is that these fish are actually kept in small spaces within the pet shop probably where you're at you might have some hundred gallons oh by the way guys these fish i, I is the first time i've ever seen them and they are expensive too and and this is what actually drives hobby hot to actually be getting the four four point five um, star rating out of five as far as um you know bringing to the four exotic fish um to the jamaican fish right these fish that are actually being um showcased at hobby hut are unique uh, i guess the one of the one of the, the issue with regards to the other pet shop is that um the investment in actually shipping uh new type of fish breed of fish uh to the jamaican market is a little bit pricey right and um if i wanted to i could have actually um look about doing all that but it would be a, a, a lot more time consuming than actually keeping the fish itself right um you have spaces you know other pet shop and uh, including hobby hot hot right hot right that actually uses the, the, the technique of you know some a little research as to what is it that um, the client actually want and based off that they will actually um you know try to get these type of fish wow these fish just look really cute right okay the thing is that um not everybody can afford this 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 fish that have been sold at Holly Hot. I mean like fish this cost for forty thousand dollars. And these pencil looking fish, I don't know the name, I just call them pencil looking fish, right? Um for five thousand something dollars. And I saw Kuli Loach um being sold for five thousand um six, five thousand five, and the larger ones for eight thousand. And they have some neon textures in it you you will see in a bit um these are some roaches i think right um they are expensive i mean like one thousand five hundred dollars for one neon tetra you know much money that and you need probably about 10 or uh, 20 neon tetras to really get that effect within the aquarium space right no not much persons will take up fifteen thousand dollars or uh twenty thousand or thirty thousand dollars to purchase um aquarium fish right that's you know you have a lot of things to do with the money right but uh um, how about have actually been able to source these exotic fish and they have their clientele in whom they supply these exotic fish to you now as a result of that you have a special clientele at how that actually keep the business afloat keep the aquariums um with fish and there's no skill on uh, um in, in comparison to next to nature Right next to nature, I've actually contracted the. When I say contract, I mean it. It has actually contract been contract. Right, it, it become it, it have the fish space have actually become smaller with the the plants actually, um, you know, the, the, the space the, for the plants have actually grown. Right, um, you have some pet shops. Um, I'm not going to call any name. Where in which you have more aquariums and you have more fish. 
right? So the, the fish that are actually being, you know, I call it now, advertised, are being put up for sale. It's so common that not much persons want to purchase them. You know, the guppy, the molly, the sword tail, the barbs, the tetra, um, the, you know, the Oscar, the, the, the Jack Dempsey, the Severum, um, peacocks, um, Emboma cichlid, some Emboma cichlid, not all. Um, these are just some of the common fishing pet shop, but hobby hunt goes beyond that. I just hope that this video kind of pulls you as to the um, reason why um, Hobby Hut is so popular. I myself is not really a, a, a big fan anymore of this space because, you know, it's just out of my league, right? So I just practice to visit periodically. I might get one or two stuff there, but that's just not my space. It's out of my league, right? It's like up there and I'm like <laughs> below that space, right? So, um yeah so hobby house is still shining um and that's one of the reasons why um of the all the pet shops in which i have actually visited hobby hut is one of those that well hobby hut is the the the, 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 the that video on hobby hut have actually garnered more views than any other video with regards to pet shop um you know inside a jamaican pet shop thank you for stopping by guys have a wonderful day peace out catch you next time bye bye